Reaper is our new assassin bringing in some burst damage. Let's hop right in. Reaper's identity is Persona. Build the meter using skills to enter Persona mode. Please note, entering Persona mode causes a backwards dash, which also leaves a clone behind. The Lunar Voice class engraving increases swoop skills by 160% during Persona mode. For skills, we have green or dagger skills, purple or shadow skills, red or swoop skills. For accessories, go full spec with crit on necklace. With higher specialization, our swoop skills deal more damage, identity meter builds faster, and our awakening is stronger. All right, time to go over skills. Nightmare. Throw a dagger to mark a target, teleport to the other side. Shadow Vortex is a small cone area of effect. Distortion, a mobility skill with a meter gain tripod. Shadow Storm, a line area of effect followed by a circle area of effect. Shadow Trap, a circle area of effect paired with a backwards roll. Glowing Brand, a teleport and circle area of effect. Rage Spear, a line area of effect with a backwards roll. Dance of Fury, a circle area of effect in front. Cadenza, a backwards roll and a large circle area of effect. Requiem, a large line area of effect combo three times. Cadenza is optimal for damage and meter gain. Here's our tripod setup, take a screenshot. Pair Wealth Runes on Shadow Skills, Gale Wind on Swoop Skills, Quick Recharge on the remaining skills. Swoop Skills get damage and cooldown gems, and the remaining skills get cooldown gems. For tripod upgrades, focus on meter gain tripods from Shadow Skills, and crit rate tripods on Swoop Skills. For engravings, go Lunar Voice, Ambush Master, Keen Blunt Weapon, and Adrenaline. Add on Grudge and Curse Doll. At 1445 and beyond, aim for the full Entropy set for crit damage, crit rate, and overall damage increases from back attacks. Good luck and have fun out there.